Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am about to start making my grocery list for the week and I figured that I would share with you guys my grocery shopping routine. I have found so many different tips and tricks that have really helped me save time and money in the grocery store. So if you ever find yourself like struggling with buying extra stuff more than you need or spending more than you need, then definitely make sure to stay to the end of the video because I have a ton of different tips and tricks that are really going to help you with that. When I'm planning out my grocery list for the week, the first thing I like to do is to check the weekly circular. This is giving me the opportunity to see what store coupons they have as well as what items they plan on having for the week. It helps me figure out what I actually want to cook and if there's one deal that I literally just cannot pass up, I can figure out how I can incorporate that into some sort of meal or snack for the week. Also, if you wanna save a bit more money, then you can definitely check multiple circulars and different stores because one store may have a better deal than the other. But as a mom, unfortunately, I just do not have the time to go to multiple stores all in one day. So I like to stick with ShopRite because they tend to have pretty good deals every single week. So once I'm finished going through the circular for the week and finding out what is on sale, I then like to go on to Pinterest and this is where I try and find different recipes that I can make for the week that incorporate the items that are already on sale. I also like to pick at least like one or two recipes that may have very similar items so I'm not buying a huge bag of kale for only one recipe. It's really going to help me save money and also time in the store. So once I'm finished making my grocery list, um, I then try and write down what I'm going to eat for like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Um, if there's a specific recipe that I wanted to make, I will write that in here as well. This is what I plan on making for the week uh, for breakfast, probably eggs with spinach, avocado and berries. Or I will do um, some oatmeal with like berries on top, lunch and dinner, which basically could be the same thing, which is going to be jerk chicken, sauteed kale and rice ground turkey with rice and asparagus and then snacks I figured I would do my favorite Greek yogurt and carrots with hummus so here is another tip that I'm going to share with you guys so once you have your full grocery list you will be amazed at how many things you might already have in your house that you completely forgot about so what I will do is I will go downstairs and then run through my cabinet to see what I actually already have so I can knock that off of the list and not have to buy more of it when I really didn't need to. I literally used to make my list and then head straight to the store but I found that there were so many times where I actually bought items that we already had at home and if I would have just taken an extra five ten minutes to go through all of our cabinets and our fridge and everything like that that I could just start scratching things off the list and it would save me so much money I just got back from the store so I'm going to show you guys everything that I did pick up. It wasn't like a huge like grocery list. Um, I kind of just picked up the basics and then I will also share with you guys how much I spent um, at the very end. Using reusable bags is another way to save money while you're grocery shopping. I know some stores they actually give you some sort of a discount for using them. Also, I heard that in New Jersey that I believe sometime this year that they're going to start charging you when you actually are using their plastic and paper bags. I got this huge bag of kale, so I figured I could make some um, kale salad, and then I also wanted to do sauteed kale and pair that with some chicken and rice. Then I also picked up some spinach and spinach is always great for like smoothies in the morning or even um, there's a really good salad that I like. It's spinach, strawberries, uh, feta cheese and balsamic vinaigrette. So good. So I'm most likely going to use this to mix with my scrambled eggs in the morning to get a little bit of greens or maybe even do a smoothie because it's a quick grab and go. 
some baby carrots, which are going to be paired with my all-time favorite roasted red pepper hummus. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys love hummus and what your favorite kind is. I tried almost all of them and roasted red pepper is definitely the best in my opinion at least. So I also picked up some jerk seasoning. I figured I will season some chicken, grilled chicken that I picked up to pair with the sauteed kale and then some rice. This is my favorite Greek yogurt. It's strawberry banana. They have a couple of other good flavors. Um, vanilla is good. Strawberry by itself is good. They also have a cheesecake one. What I love most about it is 80 calories and 12 grams of protein. So this is really, really yummy. And then I purchased jasmine rice to try it out. I heard it was really, really good. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think. I'll let you know. I let. I'll let you guys know what I think about this. But this is what I'm going to have for the week: some ground turkey to pair with the rice, and you know, just basic ground turkey. Probably do some black beans as well. I decided to go with some turkey bacon. I only like like the thicker sliced ones. Some whole milk because Riley was almost out and then these mini waffles. So I've been trying to get her to eat these for uh, breakfast and she's tried maybe two or three times, but yeah, this is the goal. She says she likes them, hopefully we'll have them for dinner. Okay, so I ended up spending a total of $46.56, which isn't bad at all. It was under the $50 mark. That's what I do strive for every single week. And I forgot a couple of coupons and there were a couple of things that I didn't get a chance to pick up because they didn't have it in the store or the asparagus. It was like all, I don't know, beat up. So I'm gonna have to go to a different store. Um, I have a total savings of $8.54. I had a couple of digital coupons and um, things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.